Hello, my name is Ron DiGiuseppe. I'm the Automotive IP Segment Manager for Synopsys uh, Designware IP product lines. And I wanted to give you a quick update about our automotive product lines, especially since we can't meet in person. And this short video, I hope, will give you a little information on the latest developments of our automotive IP product line. And we can talk about some of the key features of our automotive grade IP, especially in terms of functional safety, uh, automotive grade reliability, and automotive quality. As you know, SOCs for automotive systems have been changing dramatically in the last few years, depending upon the application. And some of those applications have been the car, ADAS, advanced driver assistance, uh, infotainment, cluster displays, uh, powertrain, or even the automotive gateway have different requirements in terms of safety, functional safety, in terms of temperature operating conditions, in terms of performance. So each SOC is unique in terms of the requirements to, for that particular application. And as Synopsys, we've developed a product line of different automotive grade IP products to match those different applications and performance targets that you might be developing your SOC for. Um, so, turning maybe to the first topic of functional safety, since safety critical systems can be utilized in, in multiple applications in the car, we've developed a new product, the ARC EM22FS functional safety processor that could fulfill multiple roles in your app, uh, automotive SOCs. This embedded processor, the ARC EM22FS, is the first processor IP that meets the ISO 26262 standard requirements for both ASIL random hardware faults as well as the development of the product to meet the ASIL D systematic requirements of the ISO 26262 standard. Um, for this product, the RPM 22FS, we worked with a independent third-party auditor to independently certify the product to be full ASO compliance, both for random hardware faults and ASO D systematic. So we're very excited when we announced that uh, product recently. And we are well on the way to um, extend the ISO 262 compliance to uh, other products, such as additional ARC processors, such as our DSP processor, our embedded vision processor, our high-speed processor, as well as our interface IP. And then when we talk about functional safety um, and the compliance to the ISO 26262 standard, um, we have to ensure that those development processes are applied to all the products, including these advanced process modes that are more common in automotive. You may know that both 60 nanometer and 22 FD SOI process modes are, are, can be considered mainstream. They're so popular in automotive designs um, to implement the, the power, the performance, the area requirements for the different applications. Um, but also we're seeing quite a bit of demand for uh, seven nanometer FinFET process modes and we're seeing early requests for the next generation foundry process for automotive uh, five nanometer FinFET process nodes. So working with the foundry providers, um, for example, TSMC, to ensure that our IP is implemented and meets the automotive requirements of reliability, uh, temperature operation, um, 15 year product lifetimes, uh, meeting electro migration, uh, transistor self heating, uh, the low PPM requirements for automotive. This is what's required when you implement um, products for advanced process nodes in an automotive SOC. And of course, along with the IP that we offer for those advanced process nodes, it's important that um, products such as from Synopsys um, meet the automotive quality management system requirements. And here at Synopsys, we have um, implemented an ISO 9001 certified quality management system. Um, that quality management system includes the requirements listed in the IATF 6949 automotive quality management system. And the benefit to, to you, our customers, would be that I mean, 
you know, you're welcome to do an audit of synopsis quality management systems and controls, but by having your own independent certification, um, it can save you time and not have to go through that uh, second party quality audit. But since functional safety is so critical to the um, application to the safety management of the systems, it's important that the SOC architecture has a plan in terms of how to manage that functional safety. Uh, as, as an IP provider, we provide all the information necessary to design a complex SOC, but managing the functional safety at that system level, SOC architecture level, that's, that's a next step. And Synopsys provides you a number of techniques and tools to help you manage the safety at an SOC level. For example, we have our star hierarchical system and our star memory system that help you access and um, you know, deeply embedded functions like memory, digital logic, and mixed signal functions. Access and test those functions um, at boot time, at startup, during periodic functional safety, LBIS testing. And having a SOC level safety architecture that monitors real time the safety status, the safety escalations of the SOC is critical to um, monitor the safety and communicate to the system, the software stack, if there is a um, you know, parent's fault or failure. And at Synopsys, we've put together that SOC level safety architecture. It includes a safety manager, which is based on the ARC EM22 FS safety processor. That safety manager monitors all the safety escalations in the system, both at boot, at uh, periodic testing, and real-time management of the safety. And together with our SMS system, SHS system, that safety infrastructure with an independent safety bus um, can escalate any sort of safety occurrence, either a fault leading to a failure that may occur real time. So having a functional safety um, environment, a functional safety uh, team that independently manages the safety of your development, having a functional safety architecture that monitors and manages the safety of your SOC a real time during operation is some of the various aspects that Synopsys can provide you to make sure your development of your automotive grade SOC occurs quickly and meets the relevant standards such as ISO 26262, um, AECQ 100, and the quality management systems that your customers, the automotive industry expects. So, you know, in these challenging times, we understand that your product schedules and design requirements are moving forward very aggressively. Uh, we're all working uh, virtually. So I just hope this short uh, kind of news update regarding our automotive grade IP and the expertise that Synopsys can help you to develop your product quicker and meet those industry requirements um, can help, um, help you meet your design goals. Once again, thank you very much.